So today, I'm actually going to go over a Google Chrome extension. It's called Google, uh, well not Google, Chrome Remote Desktop Beta. It's actually in beta form right now, so it's not completed yet, and there's probably going to be more features added onto it, or maybe make it more stable, or whatever the case might be. So the main problem that I was running into was that uh, I used to use TeamViewer before to do a remote connection, but the problem is I was using a Linux box as my primary machine, so the versions between TeamViewer on Windows and Linux were different. On Windows it was version 8, I believe, and on Linux, since it's Linux, uh, it was version 6 maybe, or something like that. So when I would try to connect to a Windows desktop, it would not allow me because it wasn't the same version. So that went, up the, that went out the window quickly, so I couldn't use that anymore. So, but then I came across this extension called, like I said, Chrome Remote Desktop, and it's pretty basic. It'll, it'll allow you to do the major stuff. Oh wait, I'm actually generating code. I don't want to share. So right now I'm actually gonna go. Uh, all that, and like I said, it's cross-platform. Oops, give me a second. I, I pressed the wrong button on my box. Okay. So right now I'm generating code from the c computer that I want. Oh, not that one. Let's cancel. Okay. Access. So we're gonna go access code. All right, we're gonna go ahead and all right. There it is. So it's gonna be a six eighty one seventy two seventy nine twelve fifteen. All right, we're gonna go connect and go ahead and connect. So there you go. So now we're remotely connected to uh, my Linux box, or well, it used to be. So we can do all court sorts of stuff on here. So so um, see, we can go ahead. The only issue is that uh, there's some well, sometimes your clicks or your um or you're typing this is a review I don't know sometimes uh, sometimes you're typing might not get through efficiently so yeah and another thing you cannot close the browser on their uh, on their session or it won't work if you close the browser you close the connection so you gotta leave the, the connection open and another thing is that your client has to have a, a gmail account in order to uh, to uh, in, in order to have a, in order to be able to do a remote connection, or, or it won't work because some of my clients don't even use email, so that might be a bit tricky. But if you have better clients than I do, or when I mean better clients, better clients with more money, basically, they're most likely going to be using email. And they're going to have Gmail. And they're going to have all this good stuff. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. But uh, the only bad part, like I said, is that some of the clicks or some of the type or some of the keys will not get will not get transmitted properly, and they'll get they'll miss a beat occasionally but other than that it's pretty good uh it's free to use like i said and oh and also you won't be able to like directly share files from um from your desktop to the computer that you're actually connected to so you you're, you won't be able to do that so that's basically it for this extension just go ahead and uh look it up on the google chrome store and it's for free to use it's like i said it's 25 megabytes to install so it's fairly uh, small uh you only have to keep in mind that one it's not perfect and so it's glitchy at times it's still in a beta form and two your client must have a gmail account or it won't work at all uh, and uh, that's basically it. hopefully you found something useful in this video and uh, have a nice day